Hey, in this tutorial we're looking at section 14.2 on linear combinations of random variables. Okay, so remember if x and y are independent normally distributed variables, then the distribution a times x plus b times y also has a normal distribution. Hey, so what we find then is our, e, our expected value of ax plus by is equal to a times e of x plus b times e of y, and similarly the variance of ax plus by is equal to a squared, the variance of x, plus b squared, the variance of y. Okay? And remember from our working methods, that's very similar to what we've already seen, okay? because we've seen these rules, which is the expected value of ax plus b is equal to a times ax plus b, and our variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared um, times the variance of x. Okay, so we've seen uh, a lot of this... Uh, already, okay, but some of the terminology they use is a change of origin occurs because of the B value. So our B value is our, um, if you like, our translation, okay, that will mean that our origin changes around a little bit, okay, it just means that we're changing our scale, of the, sorry, our, where our location of our origin is a bit, okay, and changing our scale occurs because of the A value, okay, which is like a dilation. And we also need to remember that our standard deviation of x is equal to the square root of the variance of x. Okay, and look, they go through a fair bit of um, examples in um, in the textbook, okay, talking about the change of origin and change of scale, if you would like to read any more about that. Okay, but we've got a couple of worked examples that we can do. We're going to have a look at worked example one. Okay, we're told for a random variable x, Okay, the expected uh, value of the distribution, our e of x is equal to 3, and then our variance is equal to 2.2. Okay, for part a, okay, if 10 uh, is added to each score in the distribution, what's the new expected value and variance? Okay, well, what we're saying is what is e of x plus 10? Okay, and that's simply our e of x plus 10, which means we're 3 plus 10, which equals 13. Right? And our variance of x plus 10 okay, is simply equal to our variance of x. Okay? The plus 10 actually has no effect on our variance. Okay? Because how, and if you think about it, okay, if all of our data values have had 10 added to them, okay, well the amount that they vary compared to each other hasn't changed at all. Okay? So our variance is going to stay the same. In part two, we're saying if each score in the distribution is doubled, what's the new expected value and variance? So we're saying, well, e of 2x okay, is equal to 2 e of x. Okay, so that means we get 2 times 3, which is 6. Our variance of 2x is equal to 2 squared times the variance of x, which equals 4 times our variance, which is our 2.2 is our variance a value of 8.8. Okay, and that also makes sense, okay, because we're multiplying all of our x values by 2, which means our bigger ones compared to our smaller ones are going to be a lot bigger, okay, because they're going to have increased by more than the, our smaller ones have. So our variance or the difference between them or how they vary is going to increase. Right? If we have a look at worked example 2, okay, um, we've got again we've got a bit of um, a fair bit of information in this actual worked example, so I didn't bother writing it all out because it would take up too much room. Okay, but what we're saying is we've got 10 patients in a hospital ward are taking vitamin C and vitamin D. Their, uh, their doses of the two vitamins are shown in the table below. Okay, it is believed that the consumption of vitamin C and vitamin D by patients are independent random events. As vitamin um, uh, C of X is recorded in milligrams and vitamin D Y is recorded in... Uh, micrograms. The formula T equals X plus 0.001 Y is used to find the total amount of vitamins taken. Okay, and we're told that our E of X is equal to 3.9032. Our variance of X is equal to 9.899976. Our E of Y Okay, is equal to 121.71 okay, and our variance of y 
Make is equal to 2449.7129. Okay, and okay, is what we're told at the moment. Okay, and we're asked to find what the expected value of the variance would be. So, expected value of variance of t would be where our t, where our t is equal to our x plus 0 0.001. Y. Okay, so what we're saying is that we want the e of x plus 0 0.001 y. Okay, it's going to equal our e of x plus our 0 0.001 times the e of y. Okay, right? so that means well e of x is our 3.9032. Plus our 0 0.001 times our 121.71. Okay, when we do that, we get a value of 4.02491. Okay, similarly, when we look at our variance of our x plus our 0 0.001y, okay, well, that's going to be equal to our variance of x okay, plus 0 0.001 squared times our variance of y. Right, so that means we're going to get our 9.898976 plus 0.000001 times the variance of y, which is our 24499.7129. Right, when we uh, multiply that through and add on to there, we get a value of 9.8. Nine, two, three, four, seven, six. Okay, so it's not too bad. And look, this is very similar to what we've already done in, in methods already. So, look, I really don't think you'll have too much trouble getting through uh, the questions on section 14.2 at all.